Yo, what's going on, It's your boy Tex is back over here with another budget series for you guys today. Now, this one's going to be over the middle linebacker position since I knocked out the quarterback position over on offense. I figure we're going to focus on the quarterback position over on defense, which is going to be the middle linebacker. But one guy wanted to see cornerbacks, so I'm going to oblige his request. We'll do cornerbacks right now since that's a hot topic over here in this game with all these great, fast wide receivers coming out in the last couple of days. So three things I look for in a cornerback are going to be high speed, high zone coverage, and also high block ship. Block ship being able to stop the run is really important for me over here in this game, especially with all these stretch plays and counter plays being so OP and a cornerback might be the last line of defense. Uh, speed is a pretty easy and obvious reason why you look for a cornerback over in this game because speed is Kang over here in these streets. And then the last one being zone coverage. You got a Fox is a great breakdown over on his channel. Zone coverage in this year's Madden is more important than man coverage when it comes to being able to diagnose the ball in air. So guys in high zone play better than guys in high man. And for those that play this game a lot, you know man coverage in this game is so overpowered that anybody out there can play it. You just have to come out here in the right defense and have the right personnel matchup on the right guys and hopefully your opponent is not, not bright enough to run those plays that create separation so let's go ahead and get into this episode down in the comment section we'll leave your budget cornerbacks if i miss any over here in this video and let's get into it for those looking to buy or sell Madden ultimate team coins check out the mud store they have cheap prices fast delivery and great customer service use code texas at checkout for a 10 percent discount now deon sanders is the gold standard for cornerback play over here in this game he possesses two out of the three things i require in a cornerback and that's going to be speed and zone coverage now at first glance you see his speed being great 95 but the zone at 94 you think it could be better but when this guy is kim boosted up to his max you have 96 speed 99 zone coverage which is going to be pretty incredible now the one negative on this guy's card is going to be obviously his price tag but the other negative is going to be the fact that he can't really stop running to save his life so if you guys do see Deion Sanders on the field run the ball at him but what we're looking for in the series will be guys that have good speed good zone and good block shed and around a reasonable price range so we want Dion, but if you can't afford Dion, check out these options I'm listing up next. Up first, we got Bradley Roby, who is the speed quarterback that you guys should be looking for. He's a great nickel quarterback, 91 speed, 89 man, 88 zone coverage, and he's good in run support as well. It got to the point where this guy was 80,000 coins when his milestone set dropped, and I wanted to upgrade him, and I also wanted to sell him, but he played so well for me that I did not want to get rid of him. I like the speed this guy has. It excels great, and surprisingly, he's good at rush support. Now, his block shed may not be that great, but he does not seem to get pushed out of the way when I'm out here in the nickel formation. I come out here with, yeah, 61 block shed is not bad. That's actually pretty good for a cornerback, especially because the best blocking receiver here in this game is like, what, 70? And that's like a tight end, essentially. So, like, yeah, this Roby is going to be great when it comes to stopping the run. And on top of that, good speed to keep up with those shifty, faster receivers. And you're kind of in luck because you look at the receivers over here in this game, there's like five or six receivers over here in this game with eight or 93 speed. So he's not that far off to cover them. And a lot of guys don't really have those people in that, that good speed playing the slot position. So he's not going to have to go against those guys. He may go have to go against a Brandon Marshall type guys that are bigger than him, but he can handle himself pretty well if you ask me. And if you, those that do like this guy of chemistry, you can get him to what 90 man as well as 89 zone. And he does have a lockdown Kim boosted version that is going for a little bit more, but the lockdown, I believe, might get his zone up to a 90. So if you guys want that 90, 90, 90 combination, that's an option for you as well. Now, some may say, yo, get Patrick Peterson. And I'm not a fan of this guy's car. For one, the chemistry I'm not a big fan of. The Arizona Cardinal chemistry, if you can boost it up to the max tier two, you'll get, what, plus two to man and plus two to zone. And he may get 90 press, which is going to be nice, but only having 89 speed with 91 man and 88 zone, or 89 zone, not a fan of. Plus, he does also have... 47 blocks so he's not going to be reliable and run support but as a strictly coverage cornerback this guy does have the stats you want now the speed could be better but the height is six foot one that means this guy can probably play off some of those fast receivers and make up for it with the jumping combination and his height factor into it so i like the card a lot but if i had to choose between these two cornerbacks i would choose roby over and over again. Up next, we got Darius Slade. He has two versions. He has an edge blitzer and a man cover version. Now, the man cover version 
does give this guy a boost to man coverage by plus three when he's Kim boosted up to his max. But the one negative about that is you have to have your entire secondary plus two linebackers and also possibly some uniforms on your team in order to get that chemistry active. I don't know if that's going to be worth it. It's going to be very hard to get. And the 92 man coverage might be worth it, but that is something that I'm not a fan of. But he's a good cheap cornerback, 4,000 coins, 90 speed. That's great. 88 zone's great as well. It could be higher, and unfortunately, you can't get it higher than 88 with this version or his edge blitzing version. But the edge blitzing version, when his Kim boosted, it does get a plus one speed. So he'll have 91 speed. Again, I'm not too sure if that's going to be much of an upgrade, but he does get better when it comes to run support. Now, he has 50 block shit as it is. But, I mean, you're paying 4,000 coins for the guy. You really can't expect him to do too much for you, but for a nice starting out cornerback over here in this game, Darius Slay is going to be a nice option. And if you guys already have this version looking to upgrade, he does have an 8 out of overall version over here in this game, which is slightly better. I don't like the insignificant attribute increases, as you guys can see. It's only a plus 5 salary cap hit. And you're only getting a plus one speed, plus two zone, or plus two zone, plus two man. And even though it is 90, 90, 90, I just don't really like the insignificant upgrade when it comes to those two cards. But he does look nice. So if you're going to use this guy, I would probably get the 85 version. Just because he plays well, but the 89 version, if it comes down to around like 40,000 coins, then I think that's going to be a must buy. But right now, he's a bit pricey for what he brings with the upgrades that he has. Next up, we got two cornerbacks. You got Demarius Randall and Logan Ryan. Now, both these guys are good for different reasons. Now, let's start with Logan Ryan. Around 20,000 coins. I like this guy's coverage stats, especially with the chemistry. You can get this guy maxed out to 92 man coverage and a 90 one zone coverage. That's going to be great. The speed is not that great. And even though he does have high press, I would not recommend pressing this guy unless he's going up against like a Deshaun Jackson or a smaller type receiver. Guys with low release. Any man with high release, they're going to run right by him with that 88 speed. But if you play him off the line in his zone, he's going to play that extremely well. Now, Demarius Randall, he has what you want in a cornerback. Great speed. 92 speed. But his cover stats aren't the greatest. But because he has locked down his own cover chemistry, you can get this guy 90 zone coverage. His press at 83 is not that great, but because he has good speed, you probably can press this guy. And if he doesn't get the press, if he doesn't jam the receiver, you can probably rely upon this guy to get back in time to make up the ground he missed because of his 92 speed that he has. So both these guys are good for different reasons. You just got to find out which one fits your scheme better. If you want a lockdown band cover scheme, get Logan Ryan. You want a lockdown zone cover scheme, get this Demarius Randall. Both these guys around 20,000 coins, and you can't go wrong with that. Now on to Texas Choice. The quarterback I recommend you guys pick up is going to be this Jalen Ramsey. Now, he's a bit pricey, but when it comes to quarterbacks, you kind of want to spend on good ones. You can get by with some of the gold gems and hope the equalizer helps you out over here in this game. I've seen guys over here with gold and some shitty elite quarterbacks out here play better than legendary receivers, but that's not going to happen all the time. So you want to go ahead and spend just a little bit on one sure lockdown cornerback, and that's going to be this Jalen Ramsey. He is basically Dick Lane reincarnated. This guy has great speed, 93 speed. Now he does have 89 man, 89 zone, but with his lockdown chemistry boosted up to tier two, that'll be 90 90. And on top of that, this guy is great in run support as well. I don't know why this guy is so damn good. Like he's having a good rookie year, and if, if it wasn't for Joey Bosa, being as good as he is, he would probably win rookie of the year for the defensive side of the ball. But 71 block shit is fantastic, and he also happens to have a 90 hit power as well. This is a really solid card. This is the best cornerback you can buy currently, in my opinion, for the price tag he's going for right now. And his price tag is bound to fall once those sets go away. Once Deion's set goes away, once you can no longer do the ghost sets and everybody's out here getting the next cornerback for the team of the year, his price will tank. So if you guys are looking for a nice shutdown cornerback that's great in run support, that's great in coverage, and it's also cheap, Jalen Ramsey is the guy you should pick up. And let's sort him down. What's his cheapest price? What is Jalen Ramsey going for right now? Because I need to buy one for my team because I need these cornerbacks that can help shut down the run. And this guy can do it. That's what his name on there. That's J-E-L-E-N, right? Ian, yeah, probably. Let's see. J Jalen? Jalen? Jalen. All right. He is 117. So a bit over the 100,000 coin price tag, but he's worth every penny. 
trust me. And that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the Budget Cornerbacks. If I forgot to mention a specific budget cornerback over here in this video, post it down in the comments section below. And also, if you guys do me a favor, let me know what item you guys post to the trade block because I'll be giving away some cards. And I need your guys' help by leaving some comments down in the section below. So let me know what you posted. I'll offer on it later on today. Leave a like on the video. I'm the Texas Boy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.